Okay, this session will discuss, describe how to create a web service that brings back a list of a custom object that we create. So first thing we want to do is create a web app, new project, we take all of the defaults, So we created a web app too, and now we want to create the custom object by right clicking, creating a new package called web. <clears throat> then we want to create a new custom object, a new class called person. And we have last name and first name. So we create two class properties. And then we right click into do getters and setters. All right, we say generate. Now we have our custom class. Now we want to go create our custom our RESTful web service. We go to other. We go down to web services. And we pick RESTful web service from pattern, go next, go finish, and the next thing we want to do is go to our generic one, we're going to go down, and we want to, for this one, we want to change the type to JSON, we want to change what's returning which is a list a person it's not going to know where the list comes from so we right click and import list then we create a list a person equals and we have to create a ray list a person It's not going to know about the array list, so we import that guy. And then we also have to create a variable name, list. Equals new array. And then we add somebody to the we create a person, person one equals new person. And we say person one dot set last name first name. person one dot set last name Smith and then we need to add the person to the list list dot add person one and now we want to do the same thing and add another person too so we copy this <clears throat> and we just change the variable name to two instead of one. Change the name here to Nancy. Change the last name to Williams. And change person one. Copy. So two variables, and now we return the list. Now that returned the list, 
<clears throat> now we format it. We go into the config, and we have to add something right between the add, the syntax, that's up on the website underneath the, the web service configuration and we copy and paste this syntax right above it it's going to say it needs a try catch block we surround it and then we move up this add resource because it was in a try catch and we move it And we can format it. Now we're ready to test. First, we have to deploy it. <clears throat> After we deploy it, now we're ready to right click and say test, RESTful Web Service. Say OK. It brings it up. And on the left hand side, we say generic, we say test, and it brings up two people. <clears throat> 